So the first of four big end of season finals coming up next is the Paul Moore's Handicap Final. First, a short version of the two. This is a three mile five furlong version. It's been designated a grade three handicap. And at the top, Bucko for Martin Lidham is the top weight. Bryce Norton, Darren Thompson, I do, I do, I do. Graham Clutterbuck, R. Ben and Sal's Beauty for David Hooley. Subcontract Craig Beckwith, Clan Fraser, Stu Gray, Bella Cheval, James Shea and catching over Hassel for Thomas Rogers. So just nine then. Really disappointing turnout really to the amount of uh, qualifiers that we have in this you know, expected a bigger field than nine, but they're away and racing. And they're on the Grand National course as well, of course. And subcontract leads into the first. Didn't like that fence at all, the leader, and gave it a bit of a wallop. And these fences may come as a shock to some of these horses, which might not be used to running in them. But um, they're pretty much all in a line lock as they make their way down towards the next, which looks to me, if we get our bearings, is going to be the canal turn. So over that one we go. And it's I do, I do, I do, who's in the lead then racing down towards Valentine's with the top weight Bucko on the outside in second. The winner of last week's Whitbread then comes catching over Hassel on the inside. The two purple jacketed horses for David Hoodie next and subcontract has gone. And I think if Craig Beckwith can take anything from this race is that his subcontract doesn't like the Grand National fences because he made a mistake at the first and fell at the third. So they're all safely over the fourth. And I do, I do, I do. The only grey in the field is the current leader. Leading by about three lengths. Catching over Hassel is second. And then Bucko third as they skip over number five. Yes, they're all safely over. Bryce Norton just the back marker. And it's I do, I do, I do. Who leads? I'm not sure that I'm getting the right amount of I do's in there. But you get the, uh, you get the drift as they... Make their way towards the next end. So the Graham Clutterbuck Grey, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, is in the lead from Bella Cheval, who's now gone second. Then comes Bucco in third. And oh, Ben on that one's inside is fourth with Sal's Beauty Stablemate chasing it. Then catching over Hassel is next. And Bryce Norton and then finally Clan Fraser. So I'm not quite sure what the answer is to the size of the field for this, but uh, maybe there's too many other races this week over a similar distance and a couple of. Nationals yesterday over three mile five or three mile seven, four miles or whatever. Uh, maybe that takes a few out. Maybe another suggestion might be to move as they take the next race to move the race away from entry because a lot of people don't necessarily like this course. And with a big long run in and the strange fences and a sharp turn, maybe if this was one at Cheltenham or Sandown or somewhere like that, um, might attract a bigger field. And they get over the next. Catching over Hassel, the one that made a mistake, it's probably even more relevant for the next race, which is virtually a rerun of the Grand National with slightly different weights, isn't it? So, I think there may be a case for suggesting that these finals are moved away from Aintree as they get over the chair. Maybe they have a qualifier here instead and have the final somewhere else. But anyway, I do, I do, I do in front as they race down towards the water. Bucco is in second, and then Bella Cheval is third. Bit of a gap back to Bryce Norton, then Sal's Beauty and Al Bent catching over Hassel and Clan Fraser, the back marker. So the leader, holding along in front, not been bothered by any other runners so far, had it all his own way as they race down towards what was the first fence in the Grand National. They've got a full circuit of the track to go now, minus the chair and the water jump, of course. And it's I do, I do, I do, who leads from Bella Cheval second, Bucco third. There's a gap of four lengths then to the rest of them who are headed by Bryce Norton now on the outside as they get over the 11th. And over that one they go, and there's a fall there. Catching over Hassel's gone, so catching over Hassel departs. And we're now down to just seven as they get over the what was the second in the Grand National, the 12th today. And it's I do, I do, I do, still in the lead. Bella Cheval is now a clear second. Bucco, top wide, has dropped back into third. Then Bryce Norton is fourth. Then comes R. Ben and Clan Fraser as they take this big ditch. And Bucco really attacked that fence and jumped it really well. Got right up behind Bella Cheval, who's in second. I do, I do, I do. Takes them into the next. And a bit of a slow jump at the back by Clan Fraser. Sal's beauty is also drop back a little bit as they come down to the one before beaches with I do I do I do in the lead from Bella Cheval second 
and then Bucko third, Bryce Norton fourth, and then R. Bent with Clan Fraser and Sal's Beauty bringing up the rear. Two of them having departed the race already. They come down towards Beaches Brooklyn now with I do, I do, I do in the lead. From Bella Cheval second, Bucko over at third, they're all over Beaches. Well, I don't see many fallers of beaches in the SO world, and it's I do, I do, I do. Oh, I'll take him into the Four Naven fence. With Bella Cheval second. And a big gap back to Bucko, Bryce Norton, the one that's making good ground on the outside is Clan Fraser. I'm going to give Stu Gray a quick fire double after winning the previous race. The David Hooley pair have now dropped to the back. Are oh, Ben and Sal's beauty. As they make their way to the canal turn for the second time. And Bryce Norton down on his nose there. That's seeing that one shuffle to the back as they race down towards Valentine's next. And it's I do, I do, I do in the lead from Bella Cheval. Clan Fraser has cruised up into third place. Then comes um, Sal's Beauty and R. Ben Bucko struggling under that big weight today. Bryce Norton trying to recover from that mistake at the canal turn. But they're getting down towards the business end of the race now then. And it's I do, I do, I do who's not been headed yet. Clan Fraser is second. Bella Cheval now starting to labour a little bit. Then Sal's Beauty and R. Ben, Bryce Norton and Bucko. They're all close enough at this point. And they've got just four to jump and over that one they go. And I do, I do, I do. Now being challenged by Clan Fraser. Just one more fence in this part of the track. Then they'll sweep towards home two in the straight and the big long running and Clan Fraser pokes its head in the lead from I do, I do, I do. That one, oh, I do, I do, I do. Jumped it much better. Bucko made a bad mistake at the back and he's now probably out of it. But it's I do, I do, I do in the lead from Clan Fraser in second. These two are five lengths clear of Sal's Beauty. He's running on into third. Then Bryce Norton. Then comes R. Ben and Bella Cheval. Bucko's trying to run on again from the back but it's I do I do I do he's kicked on again in the lead did Clan Fraser go too soon Sal's Beauty's closing on that one in third Ah, oh, Ben's trying to get back into it as well then Bryce Norton Bucko goes past Bella Cheval who looks beaten they're on a swing towards home then now they've still got two more fences to take and I do I do I do has been in the lead pretty much all the way headed briefly by Clan Fraser but not for long and I do I do I do he's coming down towards the final two fences then skips over the second last really well better jump by the horse in Second, Sal's Beauty. Then comes Clan Fraser, R. Ben, Bryce Norton, Bucko still trying to run on. They come down towards the final fence in now. In this first Paul Moore's final. And it's I do, I do, I do. Trying to make it a virtual pillar to post win. He stands off it. He gets over it. A better jump by Sal's Beauty who's beginning to close. It's still I do, I do, I do. Racing down towards the elbow. It's I do, I do, I do in the lead. Sal's Beauty's getting closer. Bryce Norton with a big one on the outside. Then comes R. Ben. It's I do, I do, I do. Still appears to be going well in the lead. I do, I do. I do, I do's in the lead. Sal's Beauty second. Bryce Norton getting closer. I'll bend back in fourth. But I do, I do, I do. He's holding on and he's surely got to win now. Racing up towards the line. It's got to be I do, I do, I do. It takes the final from Sal's Beauty second. Bryce Norton third. I'll bend fourth. Then Bella Cheval, Clan Fraser. And finally the top weight, Bucko. And I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I did. Has done it. And has won it for Graham Clutterbuck. Another big race win for him. Oh, and a good end to the season. And let's get a full list of the connections. It's I do, I do, I do, I do, I do for Graham Clutterbuck, the winner. Sal's Beauty for David Hooley, second. Bryce Norton, Darren Thompson, third. R. Ben for David Hooley was fourth. And Bella Cheval for James Shea was fifth.